This presentation is Team 8's final RFP analysis for assignment T8. Hi, I'm Casey and I will be introducing our team members and giving a brief overview of the presentation. Cameron will be our second speaker and will explain the second visual of the total order quantity of products. Luke will then explain the total order price per country visual. Annika will explain the quantity of products sold per quarter. Nithik will share about the total order price per country, and Eileen will share about total sales per product category. Nithik will then share a summary of Team 8's RFP, and I will close with the recipients. The company we will be discussing is Northern Traders Grocers. They're an international grocer who serves a wide variety of products to many different customers. We will be discussing the success of the company and how they can improve in the future through several visuals. To summarize preceding visuals, Team 8 created an overarching visual of the total profit module by year. It shows the total profit for each product by year. This includes the years 2017 to 2019. It shows each product's popularity per year in 2017, 2018, and 2019. It indicates the trends for each year and the company's overall success. It shows how the company's profits increased from 2017 to 2019 and how the patterns of popularity changed. Northwind Traders serves a variety of international grocers with different products and creates many sales. The total profit module by year shows the success of certain product categories based on year. This module is a summarizing visualization displaying the profit product categories in year. Northern Traders is best served by the U.S. and Germany, which is seen in Visual 2. It is important to help grocers in these countries continue to work with top customers like Save-A-Lot Marcus, Ernest Handel, and Quickstop, seen in Visual 4. Watching sales trends also gives an umbrella overview of what products are popular, which is found in Visual 5. The popularity of products can be visualized through the total products purchased in each category, found in Visual 1. For example, beverages, seafood, and dairy products are some of Northwind Traders' most popular products. By limiting sales to popular products, Northwind Traders can save money and focus on those popular sales. By looking at the number of products sold, Northwind Traders can measure their success rate through their sales. We see an increase in sales over 2017 to 2019, indicating the success of Northwind Traders' products and sales and how well they will do in the future. Hello, my name is Cameron Stevenson. This is a graph of the amount of products that we order to ensure our groceries are in stock to be purchased by our customers. This graph of the order quantity of products allows for our company to see which products are in higher demand and have more orders. This allows for our company to adjust our supply and better anticipate the amount of products that we will need. That way, there is not a surplus of non-purchased products that go to waste. This is especially important for our perishable products, such as produce. This graph allows us to order our products more efficiently. This visualization implies that popularity of products since we can see which products require larger orders due to the demand. This means that customers consume certain products more than others. And the graph tells us which of those products that we need to focus on and prioritize putting on the shelves. From this, we know that in a general sense, our customers buy more beverages and dairy products than they do our produce or our meat products. It is also known that seafood has a higher order quantity than meat products. It can't be certain why these products have varying order quantities without more information. Therefore, customer name would be an important data set to link to this set so it can be seen which kinds of places are ordering these products in the data set. Another data set to link would also be the months of the orders. With this, we would be able to better anticipate any changes in demand if over time we notice that certain months have larger orders for certain products, then we can better understand the, de the demand that those products have. 
it will allow us to prepare our supply to take in those large orders and to ensure total customer satisfaction. Hi, my name is Luke Langler, and I'm going to be presenting the second visualization that we chose, which was the total order price per country. This, was, this specific subset was chosen because of how important the total order price is for each country and how, how it relates to the problem at hand. This visualization illustrates just how much each of the countries were spending during this time span, and the product ca category could also be linked with this data to illustrate what specifically each country is experiencing is spending their money on. This would then give a better explanation of why each of these countries are spending what they are spending. This chart helps to give an illustration of what country has spent what in the past few years. With more data this chart could be a lot more specific but is a good explanation of what each of the country's situation looked like in this short span of time. This obviously points out which countries are the wealthiest. As you can see USA and Germany and Austria tend to be spending more and that also puts some emphasis on country spending because whichever country is willing to spend the most usually is the most wealthy and then it also kind of focuses on the country's situations and as you can see the ones with that are spending the most are usually in like a better economic situation so they're better off while the ones that are not spending that much seem to be less wealthy and then their situation is more so this graphic tells us the quantity of products sold per quarter, and since it's broken up this way, we can analyze the yearly products sold as well. With a quick glance, it's evident that from 2017 to 2019, quantities have increased steadily. There is a small drop in the latter half of 2018 quantities, but it was quickly recovered in 2019. We can also deduce that sales seem to be consistently lower in the first quarter of the year. This means that attention needs to be brought as to why. It could mean advertising needs to increase during this quarter, whether in specific countries or for specific products. For example, the highest spending countries, being the U.S. and Germany, may buy significantly less in this quarter and advertising could be focused towards them more. Northwind traders could also advertise products that tend to sell more in the first quarter of the year. Or this job could also just represent a business cycle that is naturally present for the grocery industry. We just need a little more information as to why, but it's important that it was brought to attention. Knowing how sales have been flowing allows the company to set attainable goals and can help Northwind traders reach them. This depiction shows how much each customer bought for the different companies and it shows the trends of each company. Northwind traders will use all of this information to help figure out and analyze what to do next with each specific company, whether or not to get more products for that company or to keep doing what they are doing. For the top customers, the team chose to use a column chart to represent it. The, t the top customer was Save A Lot Markets as they purchased around $481,076 worth of products and that was the most compared to all of the other customers. Each of, the, each of these customers are really important for sales as they are the people who essentially keep this company in business. If they did not purchase from this company, then there would be no sales to keep in business. Even though Central Commercial Moctezuma barely purchased anything, they still help benefit the company a little, which is what ends up happening. This graph provides information on how much each product type generates in sales. By looking at this graph, we can identify that our company makes the most profit from providing beverages and dairy products, while grains, cereals, and produce provide the least amount of profit. The information we just deduced from the graph allows us to consider which types of products are worth more investment. Further investment in the beverage and dairy industries could include providing more variety of products, such as different options from different places, or even expanding those product sections within the store. Additionally, this information connects with the success of specific products, which is useful when understanding what our customer base relies on our store for. We can now identify which types of products may need more stock and which unique items could generate more profit and therefore should be sold more. Also. For product categories that do not generate as much sales, we can potentially expand on quality and variety of products if necessary. Another thing to consider is the total order quantity of products graph from one of the previous slides. While dairy products and beverages remain the most sold, the meat and poultry category does not sell many products and the seafood category sells almost as much as the top categories. 
This information tells us that while the meat and poultry category generates a decent amount of profit, they are not sold as much as some of the other categories. The opposite can be said for seafood. Additional information based on quantity sold of each category ties in well with the sales of each category because it reflects which products are actually being sold. We can look to the beverage and dairy categories to gain insight on the perfect price to quality ratio that would allow us to generate the most revenue amongst our customers. Northman Traders Grocers will take a lot of data from different companies and analyze it to collect information allowing Northman Traders to be more successful in the future. Our goals are to hire a data collection team of five employees, hire a team of five data analysis, provide and provide necessary data to create strategic plans for probable businesses. Northern Traders desi uh, desires to get more accurate projections for future sales, profits, and success. By hiring a team of data analysis and collectors, the company can have access to a large, larger amount of statistics and projection, projections to better plan for a successful future with more sales and popularity. Our current roadblocks are the limited data av availability, the lack of employee resources, and the inability to predict future sales. sales. We will need five data analysis willing to decipher data, five data collectors to record old records and future ones, and experience in the business field in data analysis and analytics. And we will also need access to more sale records, preferably by 2012 to 2022, a team of five data analysis and five data collectors, and the ability of, data te of a data team to analyze data to provide for Northwind traders with suggestions for improvements before the due date, which would be uh, December 1st, 2022. Our budget would be $100,000. To summarize preceding visuals, Team 8 created an overarching visual of the total profit module by year. It shows the total profit for each product by year. This includes the years 2017 to 2019. It shows each product's popularity per year in 2017, 2018, and 2019. It indicates the trends for each year and the company's overall success. It shows how the company's profits increased from 2017 to 2019 and how the patterns of popularity changed. Northwind Traders serves a variety of international grocers with different products and creates many sales. The total profit module by year shows the success of certain product categories based on year. This module is a summarizing visualization displaying the profit, product categories, in year. Northern Traders is best served by the U.S. and Germany, which is seen in Visual 2. It is important to help grocers in these countries continue to work with top customers like save a Marcus, Ernest Handel, and Quickstop, seen in Visual 4. Watching sales trends also gives an umbrella overview of what products are popular, which is found in Visual 5. The popularity of products can be visualized through the total products purchased in each category, found in Visual 1. For example, beverages, seafood, and dairy products are some of Northwind Traders' most popular products. By limiting sales to popular products, Northwind Traders can save money and focus on those popular sales. By looking at the number of products sold, Northwind Traders can measure their success rate through their sales. We see an increase in sales over 2017 to 2019, indicating the success of Northwind Traders products and sales and how well they will do in the future. Our four references include the raw data final in Excel from the T5 assignment, as well as sources from Microsoft, Apple, and Sony for our recipients.